Hello to everyone and welcome to our new update Surfing the Elliot Ways where I'll look at some of the most interesting developments for this week. This video has been brought to you by Orbex. So I'll look at the 10 year US notes, dollar index, German DAX, gold and also a quick look at silver, dollar Mexican peso and Bitcoin. So yesterday was a very big volatile day. We got an inflation report from the US coming down to 3.2%. Expectations were 3.3% from the previous reading, which was 3.7. So it looks like that inflation is cooling down in the US. So speculators believe that Fed, after all, maybe is done with the hiking rates. But keep in mind that they're still far away their 2% target. And so still, US yields could potentially move to the downside even further, but it can be a bit bumpy right here to the downside. So as a result, what we have seen a very strong and important breakdown here on dollar index while the stocks are in recovery mode, including metals. So um, looking at, uh, let's say, on the US notes first here. Uh, so what we are seeing, well, the important is this level here, going back to October 2022, we broke below it and we are now higher testing these levels. But notice that market broke the trend line resistance. So I think that more upside here is very probable after the next pullback. Why I think so is also because looking at the US yields, obviously here we have a very nice and clear five wave bearish pattern. And normally when that's the case, it means that dollar could stay in bearish trend because US yields have potentially topped out. But there can be some maybe some positions here uh, still from yesterday liquidated for those who are short because uh, dollar short because who knows maybe this new pullback is going to occur very soon here on the US yield because five waves down puts a correction in place in ABC rally so maybe even those euro Aussie dollar all of those uh, dollar pairs could see some of the retracements uh, in the next few days. So if you want to be shorting US dollar, maybe watching and observing these US yields and waiting on some pullbacks on those uh, dollar pairs may not be a bad idea. But overall, I just think the dollar in general could see much more weakness here in going into the end of the year. Looking at dollar index itself, as you know, we've been tracking very big flat correction here um, or potentially uh, it could be still ongoing ABC recovery, but, but because the market has broken through some key levels here, uh, as you can see here, we broke below 104.85 bearish level. This normally suggests that the drop from the latest uh, 2023 highs is still ongoing and can be deeper. Even if it's going to be a wave C, well, meaning that the whole drop from 2023 uh, I still somehow can be maybe corrective. I still think that there will be room for more weakness. So one of three level is possibly the next downward projections based on all of the charts and analysis that I make. So I think the dollar for now stays in downtrend and should st uh, should keep that way as long as we are trading below 106 level. Okay. So on the opposite side, Aussie, Kiwi, all of those markets. Uh, sorry. Uh, currencies can see much more upside potential. Also, looking at um, maybe at the DAX, we are seeing a very nice response away from that um, that's three-year support level here, around 14,700, 600, around there. Very nice and strong move to the upside. We are seeing the broken channel resistance here. So obviously, this means that market is ready to resume higher. Also, looking at the four-hour time frame, we are still dealing with the first impulse here ongoing. It's a very nice five-wave movement. So maybe this market is still going to find some resistance not far away, maybe from current levels. Watch out this area up here. When we are potentially moving close to the 16,000, this could be a very important psychological resistance. So I think that this market is bullish, but again, just be aware that there can be some retracements on the way up obviously okay so if you're looking to be long some single stocks maybe just observe um, the sectors obviously to, to pick the right stock and also wait on the retracements right um, now also looking at gold we are seeing a pretty nice price action here now firstly the update on the four hour time frame 
that, as you know, we've been tracking this uh, bullish rise for a while here, since October. And after that, we have seen and observed this pullback, which so far perfectly um, slowed down here at this previous swing high, around 1940, 1950 area. And what is really important regarding the recent price action from this week, actually, is that we have very nice five waves up here on a smaller time frame. So from that Monday lows, we have very nice five waves up. And this suggests that intraday price action should keep us on the bullish track. So I'm expecting more upside here as well. Just be aware of pullbacks. Maybe the first pullback is not far away. If that happens from the near term levels, then 1960 and then 1950 will be the key support levels. The invalidation level over, obviously at 1931 should not be breached. If this happens, then this bullish interpretation is wrong. If suddenly, let's say the market will extend even higher, then the important pullback could be here at 1969, which is the support here, swing level going back from November 1st. Then firstly, some resistance. And again, this could be a support, okay? So if current lag will extend even higher, watch for this support, 1969, 1970. If we see pullback from here, then 1960, 1950 is the area to watch for. But the uh, game plan is very simple here. After the next retracement, I will look for even higher prices. Also, if we make a quick look on silver, um, we've been talking about very big head and shoulders pattern there. And if you take a look closely here, so far we are seeing a very nice response from 61.8% FIB retracement, which is the perfect for completion of a wave B. That's a very nice and strong impulse. So the neckline most likely is going to be retested. Then the question is if we'll see a pullback from the neckline or maybe after a decisive breakout above the neckline, and then we see a pullback where the neckline can become very nice support. So I think that silver and gold are doing very well. Obviously, uh, these are also inflation hedges, but even now when the inflation is cooling down, we are seeing some, uh, some very interesting push, push to the upside here because dollar has been sold uh, further. And obviously on the opposite side of that, we are seeing commodities um, like metals moving higher. Also looking at dollar Mexican peso, this one has been doing pretty well recently. Uh, we are doing, uh, we are making uh, new swing lows in the intraday charts, but if I revisit some, maybe some daily chart here, you can clearly see that this was a trend line resistance that put uh, this uh, top in place for a way forward because we haven't seen a breakout uh, to the upside. In fact, we have seen a break to the downside below this a trend line support. So I think that fifth wave here is underway. And also what I like so far is that we have an ongoing five wave sub waves here within wave three. So I think that current drop can extend even towards this projection going back from September 20 swing support around 17 level. It's a, also some round figure that could potentially uh, be the next support. So overall, I'm bearish on dollar Mexican peso. And I also think it's very interesting pair to look for because even with lower crude oil, which should normally be bullish, uh, sorry, should normally be bearish for Mexican peso, but Mexican peso is still doing well despite lower crude oil. So if crude oil will try to stabilize. I th think that Mexican peso could see much more weakness. And finally, let's take a look on Bitcoin. So it's very interesting to see cryptocurrencies in a retracement now, despite uh, US dollar being lower after this inflation reports. Uh, but what we are seeing is still a very nice potential free wave drop back into this former wave for support. So I think that this can be a correction the way up and that cryptos maybe at some point will still try to uh, catch uh, the other assets here. There have been a very, a very nice uptrend for the last few weeks and I do not see any reason why we should look uh, against this trend. I just think it's better to stick with the current direction. Traders, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure to press the like button to leave us any kind of commentary below this video and talk to you soon. Bye.